Hey there, lovely people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Time is on the dot, midnight, and I'm wearing one of my uh, most awaited watches. Uh, just wanted to share with you. I'll do a take of video on uh, five watches that I bought yesterday, all Casios. Uh, they are like, I've been wanting to buy them, wanting to buy them. So this was one of those missing. I just love the red dial on these. These are the PRX inspired little version of Casio. But today, uh, let's not a, let's uh, do a perfume review watch talk perhaps tomorrow okay so i'm gonna do an issue impression on this very fun fragrance from paris corner and this is from the Mauge line um, also called apple teeny okay i just got this i gave full proper wearing and i'm ready to talk about the way this smells how it performed for the whole day or whatever how's the projection and what this is similar to first of all let's start with what this is similar to i saw this someone posted in my group Rackcom bangladesh and i immediately thought hmm you know there's another bottle right there which is the ginger dash blue moon sort of dupe that is called moscow mule i also got that we'll talk about it soon this thing i want to talk about more because this is my favorite uh one of the favorite uh fragrances inspiration that is apple brandy on the rocks by killian so someone posted this and i saw the bottle the bottle is very beautiful and immediately i saw the color and the name i knew what they're doing because this line they have three one is angel share clone one is the blue moon ginger dash and this is the apple brandy on the rocks so let's show the presentation the price is around 30 dollars on these um very beautiful very beautiful presentation the box is kind of like very expensive when you see this from far and the bottle you would imagine like these are like easily 60 70 bucks okay no so the, here you get this nice little lime color uh hair coloration this one looks kind of like a middle eastern style and moj moj basically in hindi means moj masti means having fun okay i don't know what this means here and apple tini you guys know uh, uh, apple martini i think it's called apple tini most probably could be wrong I'm, i i don't remember my uh, you know the drinks no more it's been a long time so here this is how the presentation works if this one was a release from a niche house people go gaga oh my god this one has magnet okay and then this one has this beautiful presentation imagine they put a light somewhere in there and then imagine you have his own lighting okay so amazing presentation okay box bottle take a look at the bottle this is the reason why i got these these and the ginger dash is having even the blue moons clone the bottle is even more pretty but this perfume is more uh, of my style okay i think i'm gonna get the bike alien angel share clone as well so this minus the cap it looks like a martini glass or a drinks glass like you hold it like this like this and you just having a sip you know like holding the glass like jack daniels or something i don't know so good thing first good thing i like pricing is very good and then 100 mil where apple brandy for 250 dollars gets 50 ml bottle of course killian's brand name brand image and the perfume itself is superior quality no doubt about it i'll compare that my apple brandy on the rocks is in my other house right so i cannot show you that today but i just want to talk about it so i give it a full wearing when i did wear i like to wear fragrances like heavy i went six seven sprays shirt like full front like i went like apple teeny on me uh and then it did work actually it did uh work very well it was a little bit warm but it was also kind of like overcast kind of sorry kind of like breezy and i think maybe 20 days from now winter is coming so is that transition time okay so I felt it was a very breezy day and this was projecting very well for me. So the longevity for this overall when I wore it, uh, projection was about one hour, 45 minutes to two hours. You can say more or less one and a half hour to be safe side. And then the longevity is about six to seven hours on my shirt, on my skin, three to four hours. Okay. So I went to meet one of my brothers and he sort of like, his name is Mushfiq Bhai. He's also a fellow Bangladesh reviewer and fragrance community member. He said, what you're wearing? I can smell something boozy. It was this. And this fragrance, definitely, I know that people are being able to detect it when there's breeze. So, apple, uh, brandy on the rocks, and this, there are some similarities, striking similarities, but some differences as well. Uh, overall longevity, apple brandy, it's double the longevity of this. Okay, so 50 ml versus 100 ml, that one is no weak juice or no less good. Uh, that is equally good or better because uh, the you need literally two sprays of apple brandy that will do the same as six to seven so yeah in that way but the price even if you double the price okay of this or you make that uh i don't know if it was 
I don't know how do you do the math. If this was let's say sixty dollars, okay, and you make like two hundred ml, okay, in that way, even still, Apple brand is more expensive. But then brand image. So is it worth getting this over that, or that one is a better buy than this? I will tell you in the end. So for me, the difference, main difference is the opening. The Apple brandy on the rocks. It's so much richer. You definitely smell smell the apple cider. If you ever had apple cider, I forgot the brand. There's a brand from Australia. I used to have those uh, like ciders back in Malaysia, long time back when I was young. And they have uh, pear. They have different fruity flavors. They have one berry like dark one. They have apple cider definitely, and then few of the other flavors. So if you go to Lankawi, you can try them, and they give this nice little buzz. <laughs> so. This is like those 5% or whatever that apple cider definitely it has that kick, but it is more sweet in apple brandy on the rocks on by Killian. So quality wise, uh, you cannot compare this to that. Okay. Just being very honest, original, that one is so good, you know, light years ahead of this, but it is expensive, right? So for me, uh, that's the difference. I find that refinement of apple brandy on the rocks way ahead, way superior, but what you get here the package that you get here is pocket friendly under 30 bucks you get a beautiful bottle i hit my specs again and you get uh, excellent push for the price six to seven hours is no joke and people seem to like this smell it's a little bit boozy but it's more like apple juice rather than booze a very slight hint is like kind of boozy but mostly you get freshness of apple okay and it's a synthetic candied apple green apple okay okay definitely definitely very very nice it's definitely no uh, uh, like uh, not surprised, no uh, doubt that there is sort of like beautiful atomizer though. Yeah, you definitely smell that candied apple. And this is very nice. It almost feels like licorice, kind of like a candied. I have a, lucky for me, I have this kind of candy. Like I do like this uh, cherry flavored ones. So if you like those candied, you know, candy vibes, if you like uh, the Halloween, you know, you're going to like this, the way this smells. Even the sour apples, you know, those very sour apples small small candies that you go like sour uh, like a kind of like gummy you know gummy bear or something or uh, bubble gummy this one gives you the very playful sort of like the same way my favorite fragrances i do wear them for fun hair pistachio or some of the other ones you see at the back you know like louis vuitton inspired ones like fresh citrusy ones if you like these this is going to be easy easy choice for you. especially if you live in a hot and humid country this is going to be very very good so this is basically done for summer okay well apple brandy on the rocks by killian i also use for winter so i'm waiting for winter to wear that that one has more oomph to it more depth and more natural smell and more booziness so compared to that this is not as good as that but for the price what you get if you complain sorry sir you are not <laughs> you're not grateful okay it is an excellent package it smells very nice just a little bit synthetic in the opening but amazing it's like a must crowd pleaser but apple brandy on the rocks could be not your cup of tea because that fragrance has something in it that tells you man this is not really uh safe blind buy the boozy vibe of it if you are not a drinker if you're a religious person you're muslim you go like oh, you know what you're wearing man and what am i wearing i smell like the satan you know <laughs> i'm sorry i'm just trying to just crack jokes but uh, i respect all the religions and i do respect so if you are a person that going to mosque and if you're a praying person you go to salah and then you go someone smell it Wallahi, brother, mashallah, astaghfirullah, this brother has some drinks before he went to pray. <laughs> this thing can happen, right? So this fragrance will not have that effect. Uh, so it's a good thing, bad thing. It's up to you how you say it. But this is more crowd fa favorite for me. I think people will like this and buy this more because it's affordable. It's uh, crowd pleasing and it is really good projector in the high heat. And if this breeze, it will project. I like this a lot. I like it plenty. I give it nine out of ten. Okay. Maybe you should give ten because i like it so much but apple brandy is 10 i uh, know apple brandy is nine uh, this is also nine but my favorite is angel share number one of all time you know by killing but this is so good as a package i give this nine out of ten very good perfume very very nice give it a try and when you have cheap thrills like this life is not so bad <laughs> okay have a nice day let's do a list then we'll upload it take care and uh, hopefully you enjoy the video Bye bye